We knew it would happen. We hoped it never would. The neutron bomb. Ingenious. Diabolical. Practically harmless to property and vegetation, but fatal to living things like humans and animals. Except those perennials of the vermin world, the rats and roaches. But, as in all things, there are exceptions. Yes, some of us came through. In Europe, the Americas, the East, and in Africa, disconnected little groups, solitary individuals. And here and there, a few animals and birds. We call these areas survival zones. And these remnants are of all kinds. The young, the old, the good, the bad, and the downright evil. But the will to start again, to survive, is always there. They say, where there is life, there is hope. Always. That's about it. Hope you and Pa and Francis find each other okay. I go find out what's left out there. I love you, Ma.
Miss Jane? She was in the laundry before prayers. How was she? Oh, she's calm. I think she's better. You go and take a little nap, sister. You don't need to tell me to take a nap. I'll go and take a nap when I feel I need it. Tell Jane to come to me, will you? Certainly, sister. Thank you. Vitamin D and a little exercise, hmm? I'll ask Jane to take you for a little walk, and you can help her dig carrots for supper. How's that? Jane. Oh. I want you to take sixpence for a little walk. Not too far, mind you. Hmm? And then he'll help you dig carrots for supper. I think so. Want to check? No, no. As long as you haven't forgotten the cooking oil and the baking powder. It's all here. I'll get the truck ready this afternoon. Sister Mary, you know how I hate that town. Sister Mary, forgive me. I'm afraid in the Valley of Death. He'll understand. He'll protect us. What's happened is his will, his plan. But I'm still afraid. He spared us for a purpose. Now, no more talking about morbid things. There's work to be done. We've got to be off before dawn if we want to be back before nightfall.
CQ. This is Ben Faber at Eden Farm, 32 degrees, 7 minutes and 5 seconds east, 17 degrees, 3 minutes and 2 seconds south on 75 kilohertz. If there is anybody out there, please acknowledge, repeat, anybody receiving me, please acknowledge. This is Ben Faber calling from Eden Farm on 75 kilohertz. Anybody receiving me, please acknowledge. CQ, 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 CQ. Rachel, you do that again, I'll spank your bottom. If you'd rather listen to that than my piano playing. I mean, why did I spend my whole childhood practicing? Why do I still practice? Well, because I have plans to make you a famous concert artist. You'll make a fortune and take care of your father in his golden years. Besides, I'm becoming fluent in Chinese or whatever it is they babble out there. And I also heard a few seconds of what sounded like a nice young Frenchman before I lost him. My last chances of love swept away. And a sea of radio static. Wouldn't it be nice, though? I mean, Dad, you do believe that one day. Sure. I mean, how long can we survive like this? Forever. I mean, all we've got to do is hang on and keep hoping we've got everything we need here. Yeah. Rachel. I know. I mean, sometimes I, I get a yen for a nice, juicy steak. I can't even remember what it's like. Yeah, sometimes I could eat a horse. <laughs> Dad. I am starving. I forgot. That's what Mom sent me to tell you. Dinner's ready. Didn't tell me that my dinner was ready. <laughs> ah, Rachel. I asked you to call Mark. I already did. Well, he's not there. Mom, what do you expect me to do? Take him to the dinner table in a straitjacket? That's enough, young lady. Go call him again. Why do I always have to be the heavy? How's everything in the communications room? Well, occasional broadcasts from the galaxies formerly known as Europe and Asia. And based on eight-second broadcasts, the planet China may be supporting intelligent life. Just to a charge for the attack of the giant chopsticks. By the way, are we going into town tomorrow? Yeah. We need fuel for the generator motors. Good. I think I'll get a new dress for Rachel. That should clear the battle smoke between us. Come on, Captain. If the crew gets to the table before we do, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, you know, Lucy, I wish someone would be polite enough to speak English, damn it.
idiot. Tomorrow we may find a bunch of beautiful women, guarded by 50 guys. Then you'll wet your pants wishing he was here to help you bust heads. You guys got to get control. Ever since you bust out of prison, you've been losing discipline. It's breaking the rule. Hmm? Okay, so we've all got a taste for fresh meat. But that don't mean you kill one of the brothers, for it? Hmm? That only happens when one of you who's lost his marbles thinks he can run this show better than me. That's breaking the rules. That means the death penalty. I told you not to drink from that contaminated water. Now you're just a bunch of mutes. Stupid, dumb mutes. And the next time we find women, I'll skin the first man who loses control. A fine pair you would have turned out to be on Noah's Ark. Don't you realize you two might be the only two nags to, to be alive on the face of the earth? And when are you going to present your grandpa with a nice little phone? Why don't you get off your high horse and sweet talker? You're a damn ungrateful pair. I don't think they understand, Uncle Luke. Ah, they understand. I guess they're more mule than horse. Mark! Come on, we're leaving! Bye, Uncle Luke! Bye. Do you think I should go with the guy? Certainly not. You're the perfect figure of a 17-year-old girl. Mom, I am a 17-year-old girl. Besides, I read in a magazine once that if you have more than an inch around your tummy to pinch, your tubby, that's just a mouthful away from being fat. Rubbish. Vernon has the only body type that wouldn't flunk a test like that. You wouldn't want to look like him, would you? Don't you think it's a little low? I think it's a bit high. Retro. Money jerky, Mom. Oh, well, I suppose it's all right. We'll see if you get your paternal seal. Where's a little scavenger? I don't like him running off by himself. Well, a little light reading, huh? 
you stretch your classics, Dad. Serious stuff. Well, as long as they don't mistake our truck for a Mobile Public Library. here. It's not going to catch the wind. It's got to have a balance. Okay? Huh? How come you know everything, Dad? Well, I don't know everything. Well, what don't you know? Well, I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing, though. What? In the next few years, you're going to think that I know less and less, and that you know everything. Mark! Where did you get this stuff? Hey, stop it! I said you did not. You stole it. Sorry. Come on, come on. Hold it, you guys. He stole my silk for a stupid kite. Well, I'm afraid it's too late, Rachel. It's a kite tail now. Dad, how could you? Oh, well, I didn't know, honey. We're going into town in a few days. You can get yourself another. Just because he's a boy, you're always on his side. Got a real chauvinist for a father. Rachel, you've been reading too many of those ladies' magazines. Come on, son. Off you go. Thanks, Dad. You through with that, Luke? I want to get on with that irrigation pit. You're not going to use that old stuff, are you? 
Dynamite's not like liquor. It doesn't improve with age. It doesn't sound like the grenade happy hero of Alamein to me. Those grenades were as fresh as baby pineapples. I'd rather work by pick than use that. Look, the rainy season's on us. We've got to get this thing finished. I might as well make my bed between a rock and a hard place. frozen on the governor. I dropped the damn spring and I can't find it. Better have it before sunset or we won't have any lights tonight. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's down there somewhere. So much for male supremacy, huh? I never said men were superior. Oh, well, I think you can do with some help. You know, we've done all right by you. Something bothering you, Daddy? Mm. Nothing bothering me. I'm just a little tired, maybe. Okay, well, I'll finish this. You enjoy your tea, huh? Hey, have you started taking care of me in my old age? Because I'm warning you, this isn't my old age. What have you done with the lug nuts? wonderful man in the world. <laughs> well, with the competition the way it is here, I, I don't know how quite to take that. <laughs> of course, you're not quite perfect. Your hair is getting a little gray. You need some dental work. But all in all, you have the competition beaten cold. If we ever do put a human society together again, we'll have that baby. <laughs> Holy 
catfish. What the hell's going on? So come on over this. Lucy, get my glasses. Thank you. 
Listen, Luke. We've taken all the necessary precautions. Maybe we should start negotiations. What are you going to do? I want to talk to them. I want to find out who they are. Like you said, I'm afraid, Ben. Real afraid. Come on, join the party, Luke. Oh, all we've been through and all we've done. Lucy, please. Just get the things ready. What do you figure I'm doing? We don't have any choice, Luke. Maybe I can reason with them. Too late for talking, you'll kill some of them. You're right. You're right. If you go out there, they'll kill you for sure. Yeah, we've got to get the family out of here. All our work. Now those devils are going to destroy it for sure. I'm an old man. It doesn't matter so much to me. But the kids... That Satan and his court sit Take hold of yourself, Luke. Hey. Remember the Battle of Alamein. I'll see you at the metal parade. I'm too old for medals. Ah, there's room for one more. Okay. When it's dark, we must get Lucy and the children up to the cave. Know something? Hmm. You're just like your father. Ah, I could do a lot worse. You take the first watch, okay? All right, Captain. <laughs> Sign up. They won't make a move until dark. I'd say you could call the situation serious. But not critical. I'm going to feed them all to the horses. They haven't anything since last night. No, it's too risky. You can wait until tonight. You just convinced me. Feeding them in the dark is even riskier. I'll be real quick. Absolutely not, Luke. The poor beasts are suffering. It's a long time to sundown. All right, all right, I'll cover you. Lucy? Yeah? Luke and I are going to look after the horses. You don't go outside. No, we'll be quick about it. Here, take Luke's gun, stand watch for a few minutes.
absolutely quiet and do exactly what I say. We'll see. Rachel, close all the curtains. Followed. All right, all of you, get to the top. Come on, get, come on, go, 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 go. Strong. Well, I'm sorry about this, but uh, well, I thought you were one of them. No. No. Well, I'm sorry, but this is this is no time to be sneaking up on me in the dark. Name's Ben Faber. Ben. I've been trailing him for days. I, I heard the gunshots. Well, then you saw what happened. Some of it, yeah. How did you get here? I got my truck hidden back in the valley. I was watching from up here. It was kind of difficult to figure out exactly what was going on. We were attacked. Yeah, I know, I mean, uh, the details. Who was who? <sighs> yeah, you're the first live strangers I've seen in two years. <laughs> yeah. Is that your place down there? Yes. Adam, what do you know about them? Well, I've seen some of their handiwork. What? When? Where? About 500 miles south of here, there's a mission station. I can't believe that I searched every inch of ground for 1,000 miles around. What are you trying to tell me? What is it? The cannibal's been. 
to those people? Is that your family? Look for what it's worth. Can I help? <laughs> Can you help? <laughs> Can you help? I mean, you're the first person I've seen in a couple of years, and we nearly tried to kill one another. I've got a thousand questions I'd like to ask you. I'm, I'm sure you have a couple. Of yeah, a couple. Come on, we have a cave up here. We'll talk when we get here. Guest, meet Adam Strong. This is my wife Lucy, my daughter Rachel. Hi, my son Mark. Yeah, if it uh, weren't for the mosquitoes, I think I was in heaven. As you can see, it's been a long time since they've seen a friendly new face. Welcome. After we've washed and the adrenaline settles, we'll, we'll eat, huh? After all, this calls for a celebration. I was a third year agricultural student at the University of Texas when the war looked imminent. Jumped the first plane home. I figured that was a place to be with my folks. Didn't do much good. A million acres of deserted sheep farms isn't exactly my image of ideal living. Guess I'm not cut out to play Robinson Crusoe. So, here I am. It's a miracle. You can count me in for one I'm in. What do you say, Rachel? Do you like horses? Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of a modern-day cowboy back in Texas for a couple of years. Why? We've got two. That's great. Okay. Bedtime, huh? Come on, Mark. Thanks. Good night, Dad. All right. Adam, I'm not going to take any chances, so I'm going to stand and watch. Well, you can count me in. Four on, four off. It's fine. Lucy will take care of the blankets and the like if you need. I thought you may want a little extra sleep. No, thanks anyway. So, Adam, what are your plans? Plans? I don't know. See what's left out there. There's no call risking your life for strangers. You asking me to leave? No. Well, then I'll stay for a while. Have you gone completely mad? I guess you'd find some support for that opinion. But the children, what about me? Lucy, what the hell do you think I'm doing it for? Oh, we could go someplace else and start all over. Start over? What do you mean, start over? What, a year from now, or two, or ten? We'd be confronted by the same thing. What would we do? Running scared isn't being free. And once we started running, we'd be living our own death. I can't think about next year, the year after. The important thing is I want you alive. The important thing is that I go back and stop them. 
Why are they doing this to us? It's easy. I've got something they want. The children and I are as good as dead if anything happens to you. No, there's Adam. He's not going? Lucy, how could I leave you and the children unprotected? If it was for that young boy's coming here that freed you to plan this solo suicide mission, I wish to God I'd never seen no, his no, face. No, no, Lucy, you're wrong. Don't you see? I've got to stop them or I'll be unable to look at myself in the mirror again. Don't go and I'll smash every mirror. Your eyes are mirrors too. Please understand. No, I don't understand. But you love me anyway. Yes, I love you, you fool. go down there. I'm going with you. Like hell you are. Uh, he's okay. Lucy, just tell the children I've gone to scout around and nothing more. Okay, and tell him I'm truly sorry.
I wish we knew what was happening. I can't stand this wedding. I'm going down there. No, we better do as he said. Ben has some fixed ideas about things. Yeah, I know, Mrs. Faber. And don't call me Mrs. Faber. My name's Lucy. You're a very brave lady. I'm scared to death. So, the farmer came back to save his farm. Who are you? 
are you? I'm the new owner of this fine place. Like hell you are. When you've got this, you own everything. Where are the women? Where are the women? Where are the women? Where are they? Okay, farmer in the dell. I tried to spare you the brother's displeasure, but it was just dragging off.
you okay? I thought you were dead. So did I. 